Hey what's up guys? Today I'll show you a horror film, Redwood Massacre, Annihilation. Spoiler ahead, watch out and take care. The movie opens up with a definition of a massacre. It is defined as an act of killing a number of helpless humans, using a cruel method. A masked Hulk-like creature, nicknamed Hulk, is committing a massacre in a secret underground basement in the middle of nowhere. He is mercilessly axing down a pile of bodies. He grabs a woman, and puts her on the table. She helplessly begs, but he still proceeds to stab her. Sometime later, a woman walks out of the cage, surrounded by dead people. As she wanders around, Hulk appears out of nowhere, and proceeds to stab her. After that, he slits her throat. Her locket drops, and it gets filled with diabetic blood. Ten years later, a man named Max, is hiking the mountain areas to find the secret basement. Max is obsessed with finding the mysterious killer Hulk, since he greatly idolizes him. After some hours of hiking, he fails to find Hulk. He then walks back to his home, where he keeps the sole survivor of Hulk's massacre. She is nailed down in a chair, while he is torturing her, so she will reveal Hulk's location. She reveals that Hulk takes her near the location where Max found Hulk's mask. But Max did not find Hulk there, so he repeatedly stabs her until she bleeds to death. Sometime after, an author, Tom, holds a book signing event about his book, titled Redwood Massacre. It is about his investigation of her daughter's disappearance for 10 years. He believes that Hulk might be responsible for it, and the disappearance of other people in their area. But until now, he is still seeking strong proof of Hulk's existence. The only proof he has is the testimony of the sole survivor of Hulk's massacre. But the authorities refuse to investigate it. So Max is obsessed with proving Hulk's existence, and having revenge on him. Max attends the book signing event. Max informs Tom that he can lead Tom to Hulk's location, so Tom can finally prove Hulk's existence. Tom refuses to believe that Max has a lead. He then shows Hulk's mask to Tom, which exactly matches the description. In response, Tom believes him, and they plan to hike the mountains to search for the basement. They then meet Tom's other daughter Laura, who is a fighter. Tom discusses where they can possibly find Hulk. He suggests that they might find Hulk at a military base at the end of the forest, since it is the only place they are not searching yet. Laura hesitates to join them, because it is forbidden to enter the area, but Tom convinces her to trust him, so she finally agrees to join them. At night, Max is enjoying a dead exercise with a woman's corpse. He is doing it, wearing a mask, while the dead woman's husband is forced to watch it. Apparently, he wants to recreate Hulk's cruel actions. Max receives a call from Tom, confirming that they will continue the trip in the morning. Max then proceeds to slit the husband's throat, since he needs to leave. The following day, the three continue to hike the mountains. Along the way, their gun expert friend, Gus, and his friend join them in searching for Hulk. Gus and his friend are also interested in hunting down Hulk. Gus serves as the protector of the group, so he brings high-powered guns as protection. Meanwhile, Gus sees Max as a threat, and he immediately points a gun at him. Tom says he trusts Max, so Gus lets Max join their trip. But Gus warns Max that he will be watching him. They then continue hiking the mountains. At night, a group camps along the trees to rest. Laura asks Max why he wants to join them. Max replies that his brother went missing years ago, and he wants to find answers about his missing brother. The next day, the group continues hiking. After some time, they eventually find the abandoned military base. It is illegal to enter the area, but they still trespass it. Gus initially checks it, and finds no threat. So he tells everyone they can now enter. Laura figures out that the military base is underground. They then search for the entrance, and soon they find it. Laura enters first. She walks down the stairs, and finds a door with a red light. She opens it, revealing a long creepy hallway. She walks along with it, but the door suddenly closes, locking her. She shouts for help, and Gus comes to open the door. They then wander through the hallways, hoping to find evidence of Hulk's massacre. At the end of the hallway, they find a big metal door. Gus opens it, and they bravely enter. They see jars containing smelly fluids. They find human organs stored in it. Gus grabs it, only to find that it contains human sausages with hormone dressing. He gets surprised, and accidentally drops it. Later, they continue to search the area, and they find a pile of human clothes in one of the rooms. Laura sees an ID that belongs to a missing guy she knew. On the other side, Gus finds a camera on the table. He opens it, and sees a photo of a couple, with Hulk hiding in the background. They then confirm that Hulk is real, and he is responsible for the missing persons in their area. Meanwhile, Tom and their friend arrive in the room, reporting that Max has gone missing. Their friend notices that Max is acting strange. Laura walks back to the hallway, and finds the door already locked, trapping them inside. Gus prepares the gun, so they can protect themselves from possible danger. 
Laura informs Tom that the front door is locked. In response, Tom says they need to move forward to find a back door. Meanwhile, Max enters a room and calls Hulk. He says that he has a gift for Hulk. He then brings out Hulk's mask and puts it on a human skull. Hulk grabs the mask and puts it to himself, marking the completion of his form. After wearing the mask, Hulk comes to terrorize another victim, who is tied to a bed. The victim trembles in fear, as he sees Hulk holding the saw. Hulk then slowly cuts the victim's leg using it. In the meantime, the group continues walking to find a back exit door. They pass through a hallway with rooms, so they go to check them. Gus opens up a door, revealing corpses with lab gowns. He opens up another door, but this time, the room reveals hanging bloody corpses. Meanwhile, Laura checks a room, and finds bloody documents on the floor. Gus comes to look at the other room, and sees another mutilated corpse. Laura and Tom check the documents. Apparently, the documents indicate that the place is a secret experimental hospital. It is then revealed that the mysterious killer Hulk is possibly a product of the experiments. Later, Gus and their friend are talking about their lives. Laura calls Gus, leaving their friend alone. In a few moments, their friend hears Max calling her. She follows the voice, and finds a corpse holding a letter. Max suddenly appears behind her, and proceeds to kidnap her. Meanwhile, Laura and Gus fix the electrical supply, which opens the lights in the dark base. They then plan to search for a communication room to ask for help. Suddenly, they encounter a strange woman wandering around the hallways. Laura points the gun at her, but she just casually walks away. They chase her, but she is nowhere to be found. Laura opens up a curtain, revealing a hanging head. Gus figures out a secret door on the floor. They open it, and find the strange woman frightened. In the meantime, Max leaves the friend in chains. He wants her as the first offering for Hulk. Apparently, he did that because he greatly worships Hulk. She tries her best to beg, but Max leaves her alone with Hulk. In a few moments, Hulk comes out and grabs the blade. He then repeatedly stabs her in the stomach. Back in the secret room, Laura and Gus interview the strange woman. She reveals that Hulk killed her husband after they went camping. The strange woman warns them that they will die there. Gus talks to Laura outside, saying they should not trust her. As they walk back to the room, the strange woman is gone. In the lab room, Tom is still looking at the pictures. Max arrives there. Tom casually talks to him, without knowing that he is a traitor. Max just smiles at him, and walks out of the room. The lights turn off, and darkness surrounds the place. Tom hears Hulk coming, so he immediately hides. Hulk is carrying their friend's lifeless body. He places it on the table, and proceeds to remove her stomach out of her body. He uses his bare hands, pulling the organs out. Tom thinks Hulk is gone, so he runs to get his shotgun. He then learns that Hulk's victim is their friend. Hulk gets his axe, and hears Tom moving around. Tom accidentally shoots his gun out of fear. Hulk then comes after him, and instantly cuts his head off. Blood splatters out of his neck, and his body drops off the floor. Hulk proceeds to drag his body, while kicking his head away like a football. Meanwhile, Laura hears Tom's gunshot, so she comes to find him. She senses a movement behind the curtains, prompting her to shoot at it repeatedly. She opens up the curtain, only to find mutilated bodies hanging around. She then finds her sister's locket, confirming that her sister is victimized by Hulk. She gets tearful, because after many years of searching, she finally knows the truth behind her sister's disappearance. Just then, Max appears behind her. She looks back, and Max instantly hits her with a bat. In the meantime, Gus finds a radio operator, and tries to make it work. However, the radio continues to malfunction. In the other room, Max forces Laura to look at Hulk, while dragging her father's body. Hulk then repeatedly axes down her father's body right in front of her. He gets a small knife to open the body, and pulls organs out of it. After Hulk leaves the room, Max pushes Laura to the floor. He gets the gun, but he refuses to shoot her, as he thinks of a method of killing her. He then informs Laura how their friend gets mutilated by Hulk. In response, Laura mocks him, and calls him a fanboy with mommy issues. This enrages Max, prompting him to shoot her with the gun. However, the gun is out of bullets. In response, Laura instantly kicks his butt, and proceeds to beat the shit out of him. As he falls to the ground, she relentlessly punches his shitty face until he can no longer move. After that, Laura leaves him alone to find Gus. A strange woman walks in, revealing herself to be the head of the experiment. She says that she is disappointed in Max, as she considers him to be the next subject of the experiment, which will make him the next Hulk. She walks out, and Hulk comes in to make Max his next victim. In response, Max utters that the act is beautiful.
Just then, Hulk uses his bare hands to remove Max's head from his body. Later, Gus sees Hulk walking while holding Max's head. He gets completely terrified, so he just gets his gun and runs away to find an exit. Meanwhile, Laura manages to make a call on the radio. The receiver only warns her that she is trespassing. They get her name and end the call. In the other room, Gus is still trying to wander through the area. The door behind him automatically closes, prompting him to shoot it. As he continues to walk around, he suddenly finds their friend's mutilated body. This greatly enrages Gus, so he loudly tells Hulk to come out. He then says that he would hunt Hulk. He continues searching, and soon finds Laura's gun on the floor. He then puts a bullet at it. He calls Laura, and she manages to hear him. In a few moments, he encounters Hulk in the hallways. Hulk drops his axe, challenging him into a fistfight. So he accepts the challenge by dropping his own gun. Gus quickly charges at Hulk. He punches Hulk, but Hulk remains unmoved. In response, Hulk beats the shit out of him. He gets his handgun, but he fails to shoot at Hulk. After that, Hulk throws him down to the floor and drops bricks at his body. As he can no longer move, Hulk gets his axe to end his shitty life. Fortunately, Laura arrives in time. She gets his gun and proceeds to shoot at Hulk. After receiving a bullet, Hulk drops to the floor and dies. Laura gets the axe and cuts Hulk's head. As they feel relief, an agent with a soldier walks in. The agent asks them where the others are. Laura answers that the others are already dead. After that, the soldier fatally shoots Laura and Gus. The experiment head arrives, telling the agent to clean the evidence. She informs him that they will move the experiment to another place. In the end, the experiment head grabs the mask and talks to it like her own child, indicating that the purge experiment is far from over. This is Daniel CC Movie Channel. Stay safe and enjoy your day.